hello guys uh, today i'll be showing you how to make uh, purple puri this is a very simple puri which can be mixed with the uh, rice and some ghee and in those days when we feel lazy or we don't want to eat the same sambar and rasam so for a change this puri definitely goes well so let's see what are the ingredients we need about 1 cup of thur dal uh, you can also use moong dal for this purp puri. Some people also use half tur dal and half moong dal. But today I am going to show you with tur dal. So 1 cup of tur dal. I have taken about uh, 4 to 5 green uh, red chilies. This depends upon how hot uh, you want the puri to be. Usually the puri is not very hot. It's mild. So I have taken about four of them uh, we also need some whole black pepper even this is like about nine to ten black pepper since we are adding red chilies so we see to it that we don't add more of this so it stretched like four red chilies and about eight to ten peppercorns and we also need salt so the first step that we need to do is we need to dry roast all these ingredients separately so first I will be roasting this tur dal and we have to roast till this is like nice golden brown. Now this may take about 5 minutes. You have to roast till this is golden brown and after you finish roasting the tur dal we have to roast the red chilies and the peppercorns. This might take about 5 minutes. Then we have to cool them before we grind them into a very fine powder. And then we can store them in an airtight container. And it's good to go. You can use it any time that you like. So this might take around 5 minutes till this turns nice golden brown in color. So I have finished uh, roasting this tur dal. As you can see it's nice golden brown in color. You don't have to burn the tur dal. You have to just roast it till a nice aroma comes from this. And just let it cool a bit. And over here now I am dry roasting the red chilies and the pepper pots. Now this might take another 5 minutes. Again the same thing just till a nice aroma comes from them. Just see to it that you don't burn these things and just keep on mixing so i have finished roasting my red chilies and even my peppercorns for just about three minutes and now they are nice and crisp and i just want them to cool a little bit before i grind them and you have to grind them in a very fine powder so just let it cool for a few minutes and we are also going to add the required amount of salt for this puri this is as per the taste and then we have to grind all of this in the mixer to a very fine powder So this is how the purpuri looks after we have grinded it in a very smooth powder. You can have this with hot rice and some ghee. So that's all for today. I will catch you all later with another recipe. Thank you.